What's up guys? Back here with another project and another video for you guys. Uh, last video I uploaded was about the shop vac vacuum that uh, my wife had bought me. Uh, it's a great little vacuum. I like it. But uh, anyway, that's not what this video is about. So the other day, it was actually Sunday, it was a spur of the moment project buy. Uh, I was sitting here doing some work on a buddy's car, uh, polishing. I was using a Ruby's, polishing his car because he likes to take his car through the car wash where it has the uh, mats or carpets that drag across your car. And it was it was terrible, but uh, I wish I'd taken some pictures of it. But yeah, I had to spend three hours just polishing. The one quarter panel. So, needless to say, do not take your car through a car wash like that. Go through a touchless or wash it by hand. Is what I recommend. So anyway, the project that I had bought was in the next town over. I, was, I found it on the Facebook marketplace. Some old man was uh, selling some stuff and decided that he needed to sell this piece because he was moving. And uh, he said uh, he listed it for 150 bucks, and I couldn't resist. I had to buy it. I made a previous video about this two years ago, I think, a year and a half ago, and I enjoyed it so much because I had bought that one for $25 and had put $300 into fixing it up and making it look really nice. So uh, we'll, we'll show you what I got. All right, and there she is. A new project. I bought this trailer uh, this past Sunday for $150. Uh, it's labeled as a 4x8. It's not quite 4 feet wide, and it is 13 feet long. And the project is to do a lot of modifications and custom work to it. Uh, it has a straight axle in it with a bolt-on hub, which I'm going to have to change out to get 4 lug because I want to get matching wheels to the Miata. And the Mini Cooper hub should just bolt straight up to it. Uh, I'll have to drill some new holes and stuff like that, but no big deal. Um, I cut the rollers off because they're welded on, and there's just some random stuff welded on. Obviously new lights because, as you can see, that one is busted. I'll have to get new wiring done because the wiring was just trashed. Uh, this trailer looks to be about an 80s model, I would assume. It looks like it has uh, some Ford Pinto or whatever. Uh, shocks on it. We're gonna get those replaced. Uh, leaf springs are greasable. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a grease dirt right there. So that's pretty cool. And yeah. So if you guys have any questions or anything about it, just let me know. Uh, the wheel tubs are bolt in. So I'll take those off and obviously clean them up. The whole frame's gonna get redone and painted. Uh, the same color as the Miata. The project is, the, the later project is to buy a, a, a scooter. I'm going to buy a scooter and put on here and take the car shows with me. So, see how that goes. And the, the trailer is kind of heavy on the front end, mainly because of how long the tongue is and all that stuff. So, we're going to chop it down a little bit, probably about six inches, the same. Uh, with our link there is the winch so we got a lot to do a lot of customization to do on this a lot of broken bits and obviously rust control got some uh, bolts that held the board down that were uh, rusted in and so i'm gonna have to go through and grind down and cut every one of them off and kind of see there kind of a pain in the butt but it'll give me something to do over the weekends and stuff like that. So it's nice out. It's about 90 degrees today. 
So it'll be nice and warm in here this afternoon. Uh, when I get to go to work on it. So anyway, cool. If you guys have any uh, any hints or just tidbits that you want to share with me about this project or any ideas of what you would like to see on it, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll definitely try to work in some of your opinions. Uh, you guys are obviously uh, important to me. You know, I can only share this stuff with y'all. So, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's a new project. Pretty cool. I'll give you videos and pictures and stuff along the way. I did take lots of before, before pictures, and I'll upload them with this video, probably in the middle or at the very beginning. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.